Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this episode of our Microsoft Power Apps training tips, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can get the current user's um, details from their Office 365 profile. So essentially, we can pull out things like their profile picture, uh, their email address, their name, things like that, and then display them in our Canvas apps. So let's take a look. So it's quite a common thing when you're building out uh, a Canvas app that you might want to build like a little bit of a navigation bar across the top where you might have like clickable links and things like that. But also what's quite common, especially in Microsoft based products, is to have like your profile picture across the top right hand corner of the app or even having your name saying sort of welcome Dougie Wood um, across the top to sort of give a bit of personalization. It also helps when you're using Canvas apps that if there was ever uh, a time where people are signing in and out of an app on a shared device, you can tell that it is actually you that's logged into that particular canvas application so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to add in um, a profile picture across the top right hand corner so let's pretend that i've built out a bit of an app um, so actually i'm just going to firstly just build out a couple of containers just to sort of simulate maybe what uh, an app would uh, look like um, so let's just find some rectangles uh, there we go. So, so let's say, for example, the app might have a couple of different areas. So we might have um, a, sort of a bar across the top, which we're going to use as our kind of navigation area. Uh, maybe there's kind of some body to the, the app, which would be maybe a little bit like this. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Just to give you an idea of what the kind of the layout of the app or something might be like, it's a bit of a structure like that. It doesn't need to be overly kind of pretty, but just rather than just being a white blank space, I thought I'd just create a little bit of something like this. So I pretend like this is a app with maybe there's a form or some buttons that people are going to click when they come into the app in here. But this bar up here is what we're going to be looking at. So I'm just going to make this a slightly different color just so it stands out a little bit. So this is going to be our kind of navigation bar across the top. So I'm going to add in my profile picture now across the top right corner. Now to do this, all I need to do is click on media and then click on image. And then I've got this box here, this control, this image control. I'm first just going to make it to the size that I want to fit to my navigation bar. And then where it's got image as a property, all I need to do is change this. So I'm going to remove sample image. I'm going to type in user and then open and close brackets and then full stop and then just click on image now that will automatically now pull through from the user property so the current user that's looking at this their image their profile picture so that's now pulled that through for me let's say for example now i want to put a little welcome message here with my name against it so the first thing i need to do is click on the label option to add in some label text and i'm going to make this a little bit longer and stretch this out a little bit and maybe I'm just going to set the text actually it's going to align to the right and then what I'm going to do is when I select this uh, text oops, um, I'm just going to select the property on the left hand side to have the drop down and then I'm just going to select on text again oh, I can find it there we go um, and in here now if I specify user again and close brackets dot oops dot full name that will then automatically pull through that user's full name now if i want to put a little message and say welcome to the app or something like that all i need to do is type into this box before this some speech marks and then just put welcome to the app um, and then a space and i just need to combine these two things together uh, there we go like that now this will, will have a little bit of text combined with the user dot full name now this will then say welcome to the app dougie wood and it's got my uh details that's automatically being pulled through now these details both the profile picture as well as the um text as the full name is based on my office 365 user profile so if i change my uh, picture anywhere it'll automatically change it in the app or if an admin of office 365 changed my name inside of my user profile it would automatically obviously change in here next time i open the app I hope you found that in interesting and useful and you can start applying this to your own app. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments box about how you potentially would use this in your own application. And please uh, like and subscribe for more Power Apps tips. Thank you.